Hi everyone, John Pierce here and I want to demonstrate our amazing panda bashing, panda beating, panda pulpifying Textify plugin. And what is Textify plugin? Well, let me show you an example of the sort of problem we have. When we have a website, we want a human visitor to take action. We don't want to distract them with content except the content we want for them to take action uh, to generate this opt in, the revenue, the click through to the affiliate link, whatever it is we're looking to do. And here's an example of a website, it's an e commerce website with almost no content. This website is in Panda penalty and what does he want to do he wants to sell radio control models he does not want to distract people with YouTube videos and content but if he's gonna rank in Google he's got to get content on the page and that's the same for all of us with websites we have got one thing to keep Google happy and to keep Panda away and we have got another thing to make the human visitor take the action we want what's the answer the answer is the Textifier plugin which I'm going to demonstrate to you right now Okay guys, so here is Textify. Super, super simple to use. I've already set up a demo Textify here. I can easily add a new one just by clicking here. Add a demo uh, title um, and a description that's just for you, doesn't appear on the page. And then the size of your text block. And what this uh, Textify does is it uses jQuery coding, formatting coding basically, menu items, to lay out your content in these menu blocks. And let me show you an example down below. And here is one that I've set up. Now, I can play with the formatting here as much as I want but it's a little slider and I can put hundreds or even thousands of words within this little block and a uh, Google sees all of this on the page it sees all of this as part of the page content which means I can optimize it as I want I can put keywords in I can put h1 and h2 tags I can put videos and images and there's my good friend Nick with his Today amazing cleaning uh, product so a uh, very flexible I can make it look how I want border uh, color I can I've got a color picker I can choose whatever I like and change the color the shading I can turn shadow on and off title area background font color and font size everything is editable. Now here's how we add a new slide. You can see I've got three content areas in there now. Let's add another one, add a fourth, and we get all we get is a standard WordPress WYSIWYG editor. So if I pick up some content here, just some good old words to, to throw in there, I can just type them in or copy and paste them in. I can put a keyword at the top and I can give that keyword the right H1 or H2 or H3 tags, whatever I want, because this is just part of the page content. I can add a video, a YouTube video by clicking insert video. I can add images and media with the add media button. I can do whatever I want and Google sees this content on the page. The beauty of this guys is that we can give Google Panda exactly what it wants. All the content, hundreds or even thousands of words we want. And this is the one I just added. I didn't change the title, but there it all is for you with a slider bar here. And we can make this as small as we want. So if we don't want it to be too distracting to the human visitor, let's make it just 200 uh, in, in height and it'll be nice and small but let me also show you some of the different styles we got so there's a much smaller slider but as far as Google Pan is concerned all that content is on the page this is a hundred percent Google sell safe we leave no footprint and we do talk about that in the course and how to ensure you leave no footprint at all but we've got these different designs you just click on the design here we've got this ver this uh, little bullet times so file click on type 2 and click save text to file we've got another uh, little bullet type one here design we've got a vertical uh, menu type and we've got this uh, m this little uh, literally word menu type effectively type 5 let me just show you that one and this is one of the best ways to get content on the page without distracting the human visitor and here it is and of course we can change all the formatting I mentioned but there's all the content and next video at the bottom uh, in these different slider menus which uh, are all on the page in the page source as far as Google is concerned but of course it packs up nice and small so now we need to put it on the page and that's really easy we're just going to go back click the back button here to get our list of textifiers from this list then here's the one I've just done demo textify I'm just going to cut copy right click and copy the short code there and put it straight into a post here's one I prepared earlier and there is the short code paste it in publish the post and uh, there it is. Uh, in fact, let me just refresh the page and you can see exactly what we've got here. There's the little uh, title based uh, textifier block with uh, Nick in his video and all the content I want, which I can make as small as I want and tuck nicely out of the way so that I can design this page for the human visitor, but have all the panda bashing 
content I need to suck Google's robots in, suck the spiders in and give them all the content that they want to devour while keeping my page optimized for the human visitor. All the best guys. Oh, there is one more thing to show you, which was that this can be used on non-WordPress sites. In the professional version, in the pro version, we've got this menu item down here, and we've got all the code we need, all the HTML code we need. We can just insert straight into our Joomla, Drupal, HTML site, or whatever platform you've got. And we show you exactly how to cover any footprints that remain there. So uh, pro, version, pro version can be used on non-WordPress sites too.